Hello, and welcome to the archive at the Museum of Danish America. My name is Cheyenne Jenstadter. I am the Archival Collections Manager and Outreach Associate. I am here today to give you a short tutorial on how to use Past Perfect or view our collections online. First, uh, we would navigate to the Museum of Danish America website where you would go to the Explore tab and down to view our collection and click on that. For time-saving purposes, I've opened some of these windows ahead of time. This is the splash page that you would come to when uh, viewing our, view our collections. We update our collections twice annually. So once usually in January and then again in the summer. So if you've donated any items, you may want to wait at least half a year uh, to see if they are available online. It can sometimes take us longer than that to catalog though. So uh, you won't always be able to see them right away. But should you like to research anything on the website or through view our collection, you can go to random images for one. You click over here on random images to view random items throughout the collection. You're able to see photos, objects, documents, and books. Now, for a keyword search, I recommend that everybody reads uh, the small print here. Uh, once you read the keyword search parameters, it can help narrow your search more quickly. So, um, for example, if you're searching Tivoli Gardens, anything associated with Tivoli or gardens would show up. If you want something that has Tivoli Gardens as one term, you would use the quotation marks. So let's use, for example, wedding gown. And as you can see, it brings up wedding gowns, anything that may have a wedding gown in it. So here there's wedding gown in a photograph and actual wedding gowns. Now, if we take away the quotation marks and just search wedding gown, we end up with 1,415 results. So that's searching things and finding the words wedding and gown in a record. So if you're trying to search for something more narrow or even like a person, for example, there are many Jens Jensens. Five hundred. 33 records with a Jens Jensen attached. Now this could be um, someone's name in the description of the item. This could be the donor for the item or history related to uh, Jens Jensen. But if we know, for example, that Jens K. Jensen is a different person, only 74 items come up. These may not all be related to the person that I'm looking for, but I know that these drawings are, that's because I looked them up ahead of time. But this is something that, uh, that you can do. You, if you have, the more information that you have when you're searching, the better. So um, again, it can take some time to pull this up. So please have patience while you're working with Past Perfect Online. Um, it can be rather slow. It's pulling up a lot of information, um, large uh, photo files and uh, lots of information about each item that you're looking at. But here is an example of something in our collection related to Jens K. Jensen, not Jens Jensen of the Prairie Landscape, but another uh, Jens Jensen who was interested in nature. Now, I will briefly go over how to do an advanced search. Again, I would read uh, this information here. It makes uh, narrowing your search a little bit easier. We have um, 
when you make a donation, you're usually given a donation number through that process. And today I'm going to be looking up this donation. I hit enter and here is a specific wedding gown related to that. Now, for a larger collection, for example, um, I know that the Danish Sisterhood of America collection is a huge collection. So the donation number is 2016-210, and there are 1,008 items attached to that specific donation number. So you can scroll through the donation based on that number. Now, if you say, Cheyenne, I'm looking for a specific object number. Okay, well, then you want to put that into the object field, and it brings you that specific number. So if you click on that item, you will find all of the information that we have available about that item, as well as whatever scans we have available. There are also search terms in here specific to uh, other, or specific to the item that may pull up additional material related to the item. So you know that uh, 2016 to 10 is a main donation number for uh, the Danish Sisterhood of America, but there are also other, several other related donations. So I click on the Danish Sisterhood of America search term, which brings me up or brings up whatever else might be related that isn't necessarily under the same donation number. Um, so those are some basics in the advanced search. You can also search by donor here, object type. So another way to search, uh, rather than putting the quotation marks, would be to search with two terms. So gown and wedding. And that will also bring up those items. Uh, make sure to capitalize the and between uh, the search engine will look for it that way. You can also search by collection or title of a book or author and the date something was created, publication place, and, and things inside the description. So for example, we type in pan and iron, hit the search or hit enter, and it will bring up all of our iron able skewer pans. Able skewer. So say you just have a hankering to see all of those items that we have in the collection, this would bring it up for you. You can also search by people. So, and you want to search with last name first, last name comma first name. And here are items related to Jen Stixon. Well, aha, I, I made a mistake myself. So this is a good example. Uh, we wanna put those quotation marks around. And there we go, that's more like it. Jen Stixon, 87 results found. And we have several items here related to Jen Stixon. Many photographs and also, I believe the Unstixon House is on here. Yeah, it is. So the Unstixon House is known as a UER, part of our, our educational collection. And it is also in the collection with photographs of uh, when it arrived and its current state. And lastly, if there are certain catalogs that you want to search, right now I have selected all of the catalogs or all of the fields that we can search by. If you're wanting specifically to search for objects, for example, or archives or photos, then uh, you could deselect other items 
um, I'm going to deselect creators, people, and uh, we have objects, photos, archives, and libraries in here. I uh, am going to use our search terms, which you can basically use anything that you might want to look up, like flag or um, ship, things like that. And uh, today, though, I'm going to use Abelskima. So any record that has that attached to it should come up. And I'm putting it in those nice little quotation marks. So it looks like it is just pan related. Oh, nope. Great. I was hoping that there would be, oh, look, it's Taste of Denmark. It's a pin, uh, a button. Now, um, cookbooks would also probably have um, an Abelskiwa recipe or Abelskiwa recipe in it but it may not have been attached specifically to that item. But this is um, a brief overview again of, of our viewer collections online. I hope it was helpful. Please reach out to me if you have any questions or need any help finding anything. We're always happy to help. Again, my name is Cheyenne Yenstadter. I am the Archives Manager and Outreach Associate at the Museum of Danish America. Thank you.